is the end of that. Why? It's well played into the gap and runs here for Stewart. They get themselves three. Slater, the fieldsman. Not sure what that call was then. First, when Alex Stewart hit it, I thought he'd uh, screamed out, wait. Maybe he did call out, wait. But he seemed to have it into the gap uh, pretty well. I hope it wasn't right, because then you can have some confusion at the other end. It's beautifully bowled by Shane Warne. The other thing that, uh, and this is the reason why Mark War is such a good catcher and uh, why his hands are soft and everything else, what's the balance? Even though he goes down to his knees, he's beautifully balanced as he catches it. And the hand goes down after he's taken the catch to make sure that there's no... Uh, that's just touched uh, Defratis' pad, so they won't be able to run for that. Just very quickly, uh, Mark Wall got the other hand down to ground just so that uh, if he did topple, there wasn't any thumping of the ground and the ball bouncing out of the hands. But he's, he's a beautifully balanced fieldsman anywhere. So six down for 91. Warren continuing. And hit the pad. Yes, he's got him. That's out. LBW. That hit the pad, and that is the end of Defratis. Well, he's kept them so quiet. They've hardly scored a run off him, and now Warner struck as well. Yes, the top spinner thumping into the pad first, going from pad to bat. Umpire Randall recognizing that. Definitely goes off the pad onto the bat. Top spinner, as it sometimes does, just turning a little bit. Umpire Randall believed it would have hit off stump. So Defratis is gone for a duck. It's seven for 91. Shane Warren strikes. Announcing a very special release, Olivia Newton-John's new album, Gaia. Heartfelt songs showcasing the unique talents of Australia's favourite female performer, featuring the first single, No Matter What You Do. Darren Goff, who's a bit of a fighter, and uh, he's striding out to the centre now. That uh, is not a bad average. It's early days, however, and he's got a higher score of 65 too. He's out there because of this LBW. Ball hitting the pad first and then uh, deflecting onto the bat, but uh, have a look at this right in front of middle stump. That was the end of that. You can see there the deflecting after it hit the pad onto the bat. the uh, top spinner there fizzing on the freight is not picking it and umpire Randall are judging him LBW oh and that's out caught behind yes he's got him first ball beautifully bowled by Ward got just pushing forward a faint little touch there it bounced a little bit may have been off the glove or catch high on the bat but that is the end of got two wickets in two balls well bowled Yes, he was on a reconnaissance mission there, Darren Goff. He went out searching and uh, straight into the gloves of Ian Healy. So Shane Warne is now on a hat-trick. After having gone wicketless for uh, a little while, he's got two and two balls. It's eight for 91. So Shane Warne now on a hat-trick. 
and he's uh, caused some problems in the England dressing room. There'll be a bit of a scramble going on uh, now in the dressing room. It's quite, uh, well, I was going to say it's quite funny. Um, as long as you're not the poor blighter who's having to scramble and get the pads on, uh, I guess it is a bit funny, isn't it, Greg? You've seen the scramble. Yeah, it's, it's something actually that from time to time I dream about. I've, I've had the odd dream about not being ready with uh, the stadium waiting out there. It's a nasty feeling. You're scrambling for your pads and what have you, trying to get out on the ground. Um, if you get a hat trick, of course, or certainly two in two, there's always a bit of a problem. These days, of course, you've got to put thigh pads on. You can see that uh, Devon Malcolm there's got a chest pad on, an arm pad on as well. So it, it takes a little bit of time if you want to get it all on. So Shane Warne on a hat trick. He's uh, got two in two, and he's going to bowl to Devon Malcolm. This is the first one. LBW, that's to freight us out. Plum LBW, and very next ball, Darren Goff out caught behind. This is how it's happened. So two out of two, and now we've got Devon Malcolm there. And if ever he's got a great chance of a hat trick, this is it. And Devon Malcolm with everyone around him. And leg slip going in, which is a good idea, and that probably suggests that he is going to bowl a top spinner because the if the batsman's looking for a leg break and it's a top spinner it quite often catches the inside edge and flies to leg gully five men plus the keeper around the batsman there we go Fleming took the last one Merv Hughes before him short leg than that one the Aussies are all around and have a look at that Fleming alongside Warren there the last two to take a hat-trick for Australia what a moment Well, it might be David Boone's birthday, but he's the man who's uh, handing out the presents because uh, Shane Warne can thank David Boone. He went an awful long way to get that. Terrific catch by David Boone. Looked as though it was just out of reach. It was the top spinner bouncing up onto the uh, pad. Well, oh, sorry, to the glove. And Boone, he's gone a mile to get that. So uh, he's presented Shane Warne with a hat trick on his own birthday. Terrific catch. Yes, he's done well to get that. A little beauty it was, and didn't he enjoy it? That's gone up many a mile. And uh, he was still throwing it in the air when the arms of Warren were around him. Have a look at that. Up onto the glove, and a magnificent catch by Boone. Diving full length to his right. And uh, that is a great moment in Test cricket. Now... Umpire Randall, his view was blocked because there were so many fieldsmen around the bat. He knew it had been hit, but he wasn't sure whether David Boone had got the catch. Also, David Boone diving away from Umpire Randall, he would have blocked Umpire Randall's view. And if you have a look at the hands of uh, Umpire Bucknor at square leg, we first of all see David Boone's terrific diving catch. Now, watch the hands of Umpire Bucknor at square leg. Umpire Randall asks him, was it up? And you'll just see his hands signal, yes, it was up. There we are. Yes, he's caught it. Good umpiring and terrific fielding as well as some very good bowling. Yes, he caught it about uh, two inches above the ground. Nine down now for 91. McD